Hello. <clears throat> and welcome to day five of Advent of Code. We're streaming a bit later today. Um, I mean, it's a Sunday. But uh, it might actually be a hard one today. So maybe we'll be here all night. Anyway, I wanted to have <coughs> more of an option for like people from the US to join. Um, but I think I'll move it even later in the following days, you know, like 8.30 or 9, like an hour later or an hour and a half later. And then, you know, it just, it's just easier for this to be like the last thing you do instead of a... Uh, yeah, then I can go climbing and play floorball and all that stuff. Right. <clears throat> so. Let's start with uh, day five. Well, now it says zero XFFF. This is a bit loose, no? Let me see. It's loose here. Okay. Fasten it. Okay, let's see what uh, day five has in store. So, I said on the tweet, like the announcement, that uh, today is supposed to be hard, right? <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't look at it, um, but I, you know, I pay attention to Twitter. I, I try to find, um, and I, I follow some people who do the task. And someone was like saying, oh, today was super hard to do functionally, right? So we'll see how it works out. But we're, at least we're not doing a double feature, right? So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's get started. Woo -woo. Okay. Hydrothermal feature. You can come across a field of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. These vents constantly produce large, opaque clouds so it would be best to avoid them if possible okay they tend to form in lines a the submarine helpfully produces a list of nearby line, lines of winds for you to review uh, for example 0959 8208 each line of us given the lines having in the form of X, Y, and one, one, two, X, uh, two. Where X, Y, the coordinates of one, and the lines having X, two, at Y, two are the coordinates of the other end. These line segments include the points at both ends. In other words, in a line, we will cover one, 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 yeah, okay, nine, seven, 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 nine, eight, seven. Okay, so, so we have, uh, for now, consider only double horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, uh, produce the following diagram. In this diagram, the top left corner is zero, zero, bottom right corner is nine, nine. Each position is shown as the number of lines of which cover that point. Or dot, if no line covers that point. The top left pair of ones, for example, comes from two, 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 one. Yeah, okay. The very bottom row is formed by the overlapping lines 0, 9 to 5, 9 and 0, 9 to 2, 9. To avoid the most dangerous areas, you need to determine the number of points where at least two lines overlap. In the above example, this is anywhere in the diagram with two or larger, a total of five points. Consider only horizontal and vertical lines. How many points do at least two lines overlap? Okay, so this is a... Hey Timmy! Nice to see you back. Hi little Lenny. All the regulars are here. That means we can get started. I'm also wearing this amazing t-shirt. Which I got from little Lenny. Alright. Um... Right, so now we are figuring out, like, overlaps, right? 
line overlaps. Um, but let's uh, first produce the lines, right? We need to do some parsing, all that jazz. Okay, here we got the terminal. You file example. Let's make it bigger. Bigger, badder, stronger. You see the ligatures? Wow. Makes it look much better, huh? Alright, uh, day 5.hs. Now, module main, where? And we're gonna run this. Now, um. So, parse lines. Let's just import text.parser combinator. Read P. And we're gonna parse the line, and this is gonna be a read P of a tuple of tuples, right? Of ints. Int, int, comma, int, int. Now, a uh, parse line is gonna be two. Um, so we have a read p int is equal to read s to p at int right let's uh, say undefined here so that this one and this is read p int is going to be read p int okay and this one doesn't work because i think it needs Type applications. Ah, oh. wait. Our plugin worked, right? Worked right in the beginning. Language type applications. Now let's GSTI this. D five dot hs. Read as to p is a. Oh yeah. Uh, read. Could match a uh, reads prec five. I'm gonna reload this. A uh, reads is read prec correct prec. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the at int here. And now it's just saying main IO. Main equals print put stir ln hello twitch slash YouTube. Yeah, I upload the. Uh, I upload these uh, to YouTube after the fact. Because, you know, it's nice. I think it's nice for people to have, like, an example of Haskell code. Just not, not finished, but, like, being written, right? Because that's one of the problems we, <clears throat> we deal with um, in trying to uh, emulate programmers, right? Like, automatic program repair. Um one of the problems is that we don't really have examples of incomplete code we always get like complete code committed to git but we don't know how was it made right so yeah okay that doesn't matter so do okay so x1 is gonna be read p int read pint and then we're gonna say Uh, read s to p uh, maybe but uh, what is the type of read i tried that right 
And that that returns a function, but we have read as oh okay. That's uh I didn't know about read as I've just been using reads prec. Makes sense. Thanks, Timmy. Uh okay, we go to a comma. And then we do y1 pint. And then we parse the string space uh, like this, I think, right? Yes. And then x2 is read pint. y2 pint return x1 y1 x2 x2 y2 right it needs to be big big let's reload it and now let's do um So now we do read p to s, right? <laughs> okay, now let's uh, do a nice trick. So data line is equal to, oh, and then we just we say the lines, right? Um. And then we say, uh, uh, let's have it like this. And then we say return line and then the two things. And then this one returns a uh, line. Okay. And then instance a uh, read line where reads prec so this is why i always do it to me because we have to do read p to s uh, parse line no no Okay, and then we say instant instance show line where show a line x1 y1 x2 y2 is equal to uh, show x1 comma show x2 show oh yeah this is a by one right so i i really i really like you know like string interpolation in haskell but uh, we don't have that as far as i know there is like a printf thing but uh, Yeah, it's like a, it's got a weird type class, so I don't like it. Okay, uh, what if I do now read at line set x type applications read at line uh, zero comma zero two five comma four four comma five. Nice. So then we can do um, a read input file path to a list of line uh, IO of course and we do the classic read input equals map read at line dot lines over read file. And we've done this a couple of times, right? You can do it like this, right? 
Um, I always screw this up somehow, so wait, let me use F map. All right, because we don't provide the string, right? Okay, read input example. Ooh. Read file example. I think we need to save this. Okay, now we get a bunch of lines. They're a bit hard to tell. Ooh, I forgot to do a comma here. Okay, now we have um, our lines. Okay, now we, we want to check. Um, we want to filter out those that we can check. Is vertical or horizontal? Takes a line and returns a bool. Is vertical or horizontal? Okay, so we have the line, and then we have x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. Uh, we have to wrap all this in a big thing. And I think we even had, uh, yeah, x1 equals y2, x2, or y1 equals y2. x1, x1 equals y, uh, x, no, yeah y1 equals y2 so let's uh, actually just do it here right so do lines lns is a read input example and then we're gonna filter filter is vertical or is over this and then we print LNS okay now we have fewer lines um, and now we have to find which of those lines intersect So let's actually have this one as a <laughs> maybe either um, x int comma int or int comma int right so so in this case um, Let's just look at it like this. So if, if they are like x1 is equal to x2, we say just left. Um, then x1 is equal to x2. Oh, okay. So we have to actually do either line, line here. Because we want to just get the ones that are horizontal and then get the ones that are vertical. Because... Uh, <laughs> if we have a Euclidean geometry, this is important. Uh, horizontal lines cannot intersect other horizontal lines, right? Unless it is the same line. Oh, we don't. Okay, sorry. These are not actually lines. They are, uh, sorry, I learned math in Icelandic. Like, so we have linear, like lines, and then we have a streak, which is a sty, uh, I think it's like it, uh, sty dot is, or the sub, sub, starfly. So, uh, yeah, we have Manhattan geometry. Wait, let me, let me see. So, Icelandic streak. 
uh, yeah so a line segment right because uh, lines are technically infinite right but uh, straight are like finite lines and that's the trick is that like you can have two finite lines that like that, that don't intersect right because they are uh, because they're like on a different interval anyway uh let's see let's go back let's actually go back and check what the task is so uh so if no line okay, okay. so where at least two lines overlap yeah okay so we're just gonna find overlaps okay so uh left so this is gonna be l at so we're just gonna say just left l okay if it is the case that x y1 equals y2 then we have just right L. Otherwise, we have nothing. Filter. Map maybe. Vertical. So let's just call it Verti or, or Vert. Let's just call it V or H, right? V or H. B or H. Uh, yeah, and then we say here is V or H, right? Is V or or H? Let me actually open this folder again because, like, a uh, like it's not giving me the con code completion here, right? Let's uh, open a folder. Day five. I will actually close it. Turn it off and on again. See what happens. Because I want the completions, right? They make this so much nicer. All right. See, now we have stuff. B or H. And import data map. No, wait, this is not map, maybe from data map. This is from that, maybe, maybe. Okay, and this parenthesis is superfluous. DTI day five dot Uh, let's see. Main. Okay, so we have a right. Uh, so where the y coordinate is the same, which means it's a ver, it's a horizontal line, right? Yes. So rights are horizontal lines, lefts are a, yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, LNS. Okay, so I think import data dot either. I think there's like a left function. It takes a list of either. Yeah. So let's just say let uh, horiz equals right right LNS and a uh, verti is left LNS. Right, this is be right and be left. Then we print the Horace and we print the Verdi. Okay, so we have uh, two. Two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. Okay, a uh, 
Let's actually print. Uh, so what I usually do is I do map and print. And I just say bootster ln horiz. And I'll do like this. Hori rdg Verti Okay, let's see. Yeah, so we have a... Uh, we have two vertical lines. We have two horizontal lines. Uh, which matches this. Two vertical lines and three horizontal lines. Yeah, and you see here that it's overlapping themselves. Okay, so, um, so this is going to be a bit of a trick, right? So we now we're going to count. So like we only need to check whether they intersect, right? But uh, I am guessing from my uh, year, not years, year of experience. Or okay, I, well, I guess I did. I've done a couple of years now. Uh, we're probably gonna count later, right? So what I'm gonna do is like for each line, I am going to count. Uh, okay, now for the second one, we're probably gonna have to check the others. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, So a horse intersects. So there, there's a couple of cases, right? Uh, two cases actually. Uh, H intersects V. So it takes a line and uh, line and returns a pool. Uh, then we have uh, okay. Let's just say intersects, right? Line, line, pool. Okay, so, because uh, I think I think also in the late later part we're gonna have to do it for lines that are not just horizontal and vertical. Okay, let's see. <laughs> like there are there's like a, some there's some nice uh, there are some nice mathematical equations for this let's just look them up right line line intersection euclidean comedy wow Given two points on each line. Yeah, but we have a... Yeah, this is the thing, right? So line intersection for if they're just two lines is easier than for segments. So I think, I think what we can do is the following, right? Let's, let's say uh, these strikes and intersects in multiple points. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's for the horizontal ones, right? I'm gonna switch songs. This song is not that good. Okay, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. 
But uh, yeah, so the trick is that a horizontal line and a vertical line can only intersect in one point, right? Horizontal lines can intersect in uh, multiple points, right? Okay, so um, so let's uh, just do a bunch of case analyses here. Like, okay, uh, line. L at line x1, y1, x2, y2, um, L1, x1, right? L1, y1, L2, x2, y2, y2, you're gonna be L1, L2. It's gonna be so messy. <laughs> no, wait, this is L1, L1. Yeah, okay. So we take in the two lines. And then we say where. Uh, okay, so let's say here is v line pool is v okay but we already figured out which ones are which but yeah so we need to okay let's just we just compare all the lines right it's okay um now let's actually so, H intersects H. So I'm taking a line to a line and returnable. Okay. So, horizontal intersects horizontal. So, H intersects H. So, they're horizontal if they're, uh, the, the Y coordinate is the same. Right. Okay. So, uh, line. Uh, L1, X1, L1, uh, Y1, um, L1, X1, and so, uh, so L1, Y is gonna be the same, L1, X2, because so the, the Y's are the same. Right, that's the point. That's why they are horizontal. L2, Y, and this is L2, X1, L2, X2. Okay, so case. So if, they, if we're looking at two horizontal lines, so if L1, so let's, this is actually an int where this is a number of points of intersection. So if L1, Y is not equal to L2, Y, then a, there are, they don't intersect, right? Oh my God. So, all right. If L1, Y is equal to L2, Y, and these are so there's two horizontal lines. Um, so otherwise, um, then we have to count uh, how many points they intersect on. Which is going to be a uh, so. How do we? Okay, so where where do they then inter intersect? Um, 
Yeah, I can see how this took some people a long time. And it's not like... It's not complex. Like, we know what we're doing. It's just like, you have to get the cases right. Which can take a long time, right? Okay, so... Uh, so then we have... Uh, then we need to sort the points, right? Um... So, okay, so, uh, if, uh, L1, X1, less than, equal to, uh-huh, right, so we also don't know whether the two line points are sorted, right? Uh, let's see, because we don't know if we're getting, like, the left end of the line or the right end of the line. So, um, so, okay, otherwise, okay, we do here, where, uh, so we have small L1 is equal to, uh, Right, so this is going to be SL1, BL1. So the small L1 and the big L1 is equal to sort L1, X1, L1, X2. And sort is in data dot list, right? SL2, BL2, I, I, we're probably making it more complex than necessary here. Because, like, what insane person would not kind of feed us the data that way? But we don't know. Like, it doesn't, doesn't say anywhere that the lines are... Like, the, there's no conditions on the lines here, right? So we have to do this. Uh, so BL2 is going to be sort. Let's have it like the same, right? L2S. I want to be sort. Uh, L2S. Uh, L2B. Ooh, no. L1, X1. L2, X2. Now we know that we have like the smaller to the bigger and then the smaller to the bigger. And then we check if if L2S is less than or equal to L1B. So if if they are like this um then, like, the number of points where they intersect is L1B minus L2S. Um, plus one, right? If they intersect in one point. Else, if L2B is less than or equal to L1S. If they're sort of like this, then it's a L1S minus L2B plus one. Otherwise, it's zero, right? Otherwise, they don't intersect in any points. So we have, um, we have like, so the two, hor the two horizontal lines that, that, uh, 
that intersect each other. And they all intersect themselves. I mean, this is like also, we could probably do this with like set membership and stuff, but uh, we don't want it. Um, okay. Now, how do I generate the pair? Of all pairs, kind of. Okay. Um, now, gen pairs takes a list of A's and returns us a list of A, comma A. Gen pairs equal x is equals a gen pairs prime uh, x is and then nothing and nothing and nothing so we're gonna do like here where gen pairs prime so we have like empty and then we have uh Rev, and then we have a uh, rest so far equals so far uh, we don't actually need now let's uh, recurse on the last argument I think that's uh, what you usually do so we have so far okay and we have the prev here let's do it so far and then prev now, a uh, gen pairs prime of so far, and then prev, and then we have we have some left. We uh, sip x comma prev plus plus x's. Uh, we. So that's the new one, gen pairs prime. And we sip these. Oh no, yeah, we sip. No, we, sorry. We map x over a x is plus plus prev. And like the order is gonna be massively screwed up, but uh, it's fine. So you have gen, and then the new prev is gonna be x prev x is. Now let's reload. Now gen pairs one, two, three. Ooh. It's three and two and three and one. Right, and we don't have like one, one. So we have like four and three, four and two and four and one. Oh, okay, it's not actually doing the thing. Oh yeah, because I'm not adding the so far here. We have the one and two, the one and three, and the one and four. We have the two and three, two and four, and two and one, right? And it's also generating the other pairs, right? Okay, so we don't, what we do is that we just don't add the prevs because we don't, yeah, we don't add the prevs. Um, we don't care about the prevs. So the 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 3, and 2 and 4, and then 3 and 4. And like the f the 4 and 3 are already there, and the f 4 and 2 are already 2 and 4. Uh, I like that. Okay, uh, H intersects H. Okay, so now we're going to say... Um, so... 
curry h intersects h what is the type of that curry h intersects h I go good magic vector type maybe with line okay yeah so it's on curry right okay uh so we're just gonna say So we're gonna say gen pairs. Uh, let's see. Ooh. We're gonna say uh, ooh, the horizons or the right dot map maybe v or h over read input example. Uh, right. So horizons. These are the horizontal lines, right? That we saw from me. And uh, we're gonna say gen pairs. So we have the pairs. Oh, pairs of horizontal lines. Now we're going to apply uncurry. And we're gonna say map uncurry. H in intersects H over gen pairs Horace. And now we're just gonna see the numbers. Do 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 zero six zero zero nine zero. So it's saying that zero nine to five nine and then zero nine to two nine intersect. Which is exactly this one so this is a uh, yes yeah, here nine to five nine and this is a zero nine to two nine and they are intersecting here but it's saying that like it's intersecting at three points no six points where it should be intersecting at Ooh, three points, right? Now, let's see for that one, right? So now we have the, the, the Y is the same. Okay, now, uh, let's see, let's see here. Uh, trace show id. And trace show id. Let's just see what's going on. <sighs> okay. Um, that's not really telling us much. Ooh, no. He should be L2. Wait, so L1, X1, L2, X1, L1, X2. Well, this is, this should be L2, X2, right? I think that was the error here. Oh. No, I'm still saying that. Zero six zero nine. Okay. Um. Let's actually then just do it for the one line. Uh, this one. interest so these are the ones that are getting uh, we would just want to trace that right D now R no need to reload the 
cards and we'll be doing it again that way. And then we say H uh, and curry H int intersects H. And we apply that to the line of interest. And we're getting a uh, zero and two. And we get zero and five. Uh, and then it's saying if L2S is smaller than L2B is L1B, then... Uh, oh, right. Yeah, and would it, well, that's fine. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's uh, consider this again. So... L1 S L1 B that's like the we the correct beginning and ends of the lines right no matter if I like stated it in the different order um, and now we want to check in how many points they intersect so there's four cases right they they both st if they start at the same time Yeah, if they, if, they, if they both start at the same point, right? Then we just take the two. Okay, so let's just list all those cases, right? Okay, if L1S equals L2S, uh, so let's do a, a guard here. Um. Now, we can actually just do this right away, right? Okay, so now this is the easy case. Now, okay, so if L1S is equal to L2S, then we get uh, L2B minus L1B, uh, right? Like here. So if they are equal, they should be three points. Now, um... If that's not the case, um, if if it's the other case, right? If um, if it's uh, if they if they intersect at, at this point, right? Then we do. Oh no! But this is not true, right? Uh, right. Let me check. Because it's actually. So, yeah, it's three points, right? Yeah. So, this is actually not true, right? This is... Then this is... If they, if they are the same, then this is the min of... Uh, this is the min of L1S. No. L1B, L2B, right? So, if they start at the same point, we find the minimum of the two numbers, and then we... Uh, L1S minus right so we'd find the minimum and then we uh, so, no, so the minimum or the bigger one minus the starting point S A plus one Right, okay, so it's the same, right, so we, t we find like the, the minimum of the two points, right, so here, in this case, is the two, and then, uh, you know, then they intersect in like the length of the line, right? Um, okay, so L, L, It would be like I think it would be an yeah we should be we should do something more general but we are gonna go for it so I'll, uh, let's say if L one B and L two B are the same then it's actually so they are the same here then we find the bigger of the smaller right max a L one S L1S, L2S, 
and then it's uh, the L1B like this endpoint minus the maximum of those two plus one. So here you can say it will be like two minus zero um, plus one. Okay, so that's the case. Okay, uh, so then now we get into other cases. If uh, L one S is smaller than L one B. L2B, right? No? If L1S is smaller than L2S... Ah, see? Now we're, we're getting stuck in the cases, right? I think it would help if we drew it up or something. Uh, let me see. So if L1S is smaller... Then L two S. So if they if, if they if they're like this, and uh, L one B is bigger than or equal to L two S. So if this one is bigger than this, yeah. Then we get that it's a L. 1b minus l2s then it's a l1b minus l2s and if they're the same it's plus one they're not gonna be the same right so it's gonna right right okay that's this case we want this case This is probably easier if we like sort the line somehow. Hmm. <laughs> so it would be easier if we kind of knew which one was the leftmost one uh, okay then we just sort them Let's actually sort the lines, okay? So that uh, so that we have some something on on the line, okay? We know that. Let's sort it, right? Let's say sort line. It's going to be a line to line, okay? Sort it. Uh, okay, we probably don't need this step, but we're going to say norm norm line, okay? Let's line to line, okay? Norm line line okay x1 y1 x2 y2 okay we're gonna say lx so if um if x x1 is less than or equal to x2 it's equal to l okay if not then we flip the two points p1 P2. Uh, otherwise, it's um, a line P2, P2, P1. Let's see. Give me a second. Okay. So now we've. Um, I will normalize the line so that the left most points are always uh, the ones we care about. Ooh, this is uh, this is non-trivial, right? So many checks. Um, read input. Now let's add norm line there. Uh, 
Okay, so now we have the norm line and then we know that the leftmost that this one is going to be smaller than this one. Let's just let's call it actually let's call it norm x. And let's not do it here. Let's just we do it for the relevant cases, okay? Ah. Let me actually look at the input. I'm just going to see how... Okay, yeah, okay. So, we get a lot, very big lines, right? So, it's definitely worth it. We can't just, like, generate all the points, right? We have to actually... Yeah. yeah it's so very annoying. But if we want to... Okay, so H intersects H, X. H intersects H. Uh, L1, L2 is equal to H intersects H prime. And now we're going to have this like this, but we're going to say equal to where we're going to, we're just going to normalize the X here, right? H intersects H prime norm X L1 and norm X L2. So now we know that they are like this. Okay. Um, if they're not the same, then we, we know that. Okay. Now we check case L1 X1 is equal to L2 X1. Then it's a... So if the left or most points, so now we don't need these sorts, right? Because we already kind of sorted them. Um, so if the L1 X1 is equal to the L2 X1, then we say... We find the main of L1, X2, L1, L2, X2, um, minus X1, um, plus one. Okay, case, uh, L1 X2 is equal to L2 X2. Then we get the max of L1 X, X1 L1 X2. And we get no oh, uh, L2 X1, and then we get a uh, L1 X1 minus. So if they the same, they're the same. Here we do that. That is in there. I could do that, right? So then we have this case, right? So one is entirely contained in the other line. So okay, let's let's write this up, right? So this is gonna be, you know, uh, like this, right? One, two. Uh, one and two. This one is a one two and then one two. Now we want to encode. We want to encode a. One and two, two, one, and we want to encode a um, two, one, one, two. 
Okay, if you understand what I mean, right? So, for this case, if uh, L1, X1 is less than... Um, L2, X1, and... Uh, L2, X2... Oh, but what if it's like this, right? Hmm. If it's so, okay, L1, X1 is less than L2, X1. Hmm. It's easier, like, if you just have to say true or false, right? But now we have to kind of compute the number of points. So we need to figure out which one is which. Okay, so L2, X2 is less than L1, X2. Uh, that's this case. Um, and we have kind of the other case. L2, X1 is less than L1, X1. Oh, oh, Lalith. Thanks for follow. I like the... I like follows. Hey, wait, L1, X1 is less than L2, X1. And L2, X2 is less than L1, X2. Okay, now we have L2, X1 less than L1, X1. And L2, X1. And then L2, X2. Uh, no, okay, so we have L1 is less than L2, X1. And we have L2, X1 less than L1, X2. Yes. So this is, uh, this is another, no, this is not, oh, we just copy pasted it, right. So now we went to this case, right? So L2 X1 is less than L1 X1 and L1 X2 is less than L2 X2. All right, so that, that's that case. Okay, there are a couple of more cases actually. Um, let's actually do it this way, right? So uh, uh, this is equal to. So here we have the, this case, right? Two, okay, and then we have if. Um, L1, X2 is less than L2, X2. Uh, then we have the case uh, 2. No, we have the case 1 and 2. And then... You probably do like less than or equal. No, so we already covered the case if they're equal. Then, uh, else if, so they're not, they're not going to be equal, right? So else we have this case that, uh, okay, so uh, we have this case. Okay, so if we have that case, then the number of points of intersection is going to be um, L1, X2, L1, X1, minus uh, L2, X1, plus one, right? So then it's this one. Minus this one plus one. Otherwise, we have that it's just the length. That otherwise, it's L two x one minus L two x two L two x two minus L two x one.
plus one. I hope none of these are like negative. All right, so I think we have this right. And then we have the like this case, and then we have this case. Otherwise, we have the other case. If, um, okay, so now we have the other two cases, which is going to be the same, right? Of these cases were in. But now it's going to be different. Okay, so if 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 we're contained then it's a l1 x2 minus l1 x1 otherwise it's a l2 otherwise it's a hey janetin welcome to a very painful thing we're going through now um l1 x1 plus one See what is yeah it's 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 a bit much no so now we get zero three zero zero one zero we're getting a three right which is good um but are we getting we're getting this three right but uh, so there's another um, there's another one here. Uh, so what are these lines? Uh, let me see. Praise. So in pairs, Horiz. Okay. Um, so it's the one, one, two, no, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, gen pairs are is four. So it's nine, four to three, four. Um, and then three, four to one, four. And exactly, they intersect in one point. So it's 194 to 34 and then 34 to 14. Okay, so at least in the um at least in let's keep this bracket. At least for the example we we get the horizontal intersections. D D D D D D D D
Okay, we get the horizontal intersections. Now, the vertical ones... They're gonna be, I think, the same, right? Except we have the... We have the norm Y. check if uh, if l1 yeah then we check l1x and then l1 y1 l1 y1 and we don't care about this one in this case and we do i mean it's the same except we transpose the lines let's just do that okay t T line, line to line. So if I have a T line, okay, uh, we have a line um, x one y one goes to x one x two y two, and we want to transpose it. It's the same as saying line uh, y one x one y two x two. Right, so we just kind of flip the coordinates, right? I think that should be fine. So we can probably do that, right? V intersects V is equal to H intersects H um, T line L1 T line L2 Right? So like, you know, we just flip it around and then it should be the same Let's see, are there any horizontal lines, vertical lines that overlap? No, right. Uh, Verdi here is the left. Okay, so we get the H intersects H. We count the number of overlaps there. Uh, I don't think this will work, right? Because now we will have... We, we will probably... We have to... Um, Because we, we will have like points that are like this. They're, they're intersecting at all, all of them are in, like more than two lines are intersecting at a uh, one point right we have like you know like if there's two vertical lines that are intersecting and they also go over a horizontal line at the same time it's going to be like three there but we won't get too many intersection points so i am not i don't think this is a good way to do it okay um let's let's change it around let's 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 just look at the map and then let's check for like if a point is on a line or not um okay we're gonna screw this 
too much stuff. Oh, we, we still need the view reach. Okay. Uh, let's define data point is equal to int comma int. And the line is uh, two points point point. Now a uh, read parse line is a parse point read p point parse point is going to be do uh, x one x is a read p int then char comma and then y is read p int a point return point uh, x comma y now this becomes a p1 becomes a parse point and then a string and then p2 becomes parse point and these are going to be two points p1 p2 wow okay uh, oh yeah line p1 exactly okay now let's see if our lines still work oh main import itself wow what happened here uh okay so then let's just call this uh point So show a uh, p1 at let's say um, instant read point where reads crack n equals read p to s bars point instance show point where show point x comma y is equal to show x plus comma show y and uh, then this becomes show p1 plus plus this plus show p2 dun, dun. And the uh, line is also wrong. P1, P2. <laughs> e, let's see. So P1 at. So this is gonna be point X1, Y1. Okay, now I think things should reload and we still get our vertical lines, right? Yes, and we probably still get our horizontal lines. Let's delete all this. Um, uh, you know, let's put it into old. No, wait, just in case we, like, need it later. Oh, so. Okay, we don't need to gen pairs anymore. Okay, so then we just say, um... Point on line. Let's just define on takes a... Line and a point. Now it takes a point and a line. Returns a bool. This will like 
override a function, but we don't care. Point uh, x comma y, and then um, line point y one um, point x two comma y two equals. And divide. Okay, uh, there's nothing to clean up here. So, we, so the point is on a line. If um, so, the line is horizontal. It's like you know, it's between the axis. If the line is vertical, if it's a, uh, it's like a nice point is on a line how to find how to a point is on a line with an equation uh, 7x plus 2 right this is the thing like these are not actual lines right um So first, uh, like x1 has to be less than or equal to x and uh, x less than or equal to x2. Okay. And, uh, and, okay. And then we have y1 has to be, so this is like the check for the, whether it's contained by this, the, the line segment right now to find uh, the line we do where a uh, um so h the hatlatala <laughs> like the growth rate of the line is y2 minus y1 right divided by x uh, formula for line. Formula for line. I mean, I remember this. Uh, you, uh, slope formula. Yes, we're talking at slow. This is not distance. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, uh, the equation of a line passing through two division points may be written as if x0 is not equal to x1. This equation may be rewritten as. Yeah, okay, we always get two points on the line, right? Um, no, I probably, right? Okay, yeah, this is the formula for a vertical line, right? Otherwise, it's infinite. Damage. Um, okay, so then we check. So, if it is the case that uh, we have it's in the point, okay. Let's just do it like that, right? If it is the case that x1 equals x2. Um, then we only have to check that x1 equals x and uh, and uh, y1 is less than or equal to y less, uh, and y is less than or equal to y2. If uh, y1 is equal to y2, then this is equal to uh, y uh, one is equal to y and x1 is less than equal to y uh, x less than equal to uh, and uh, x is less than equal to x2 now um we are only considering the vertical and the horizontal lines now so let's just i so we'll probably have to extend this with like the actual 
formula later. But, uh, uh, we will just keep it at this for now. Um, map maybe we are age, uh, Right, so this is actually going to be like this. Uh... Yeah, this is, it's just a lot of work this today, right? We've been at it for an hour and a half and we haven't even done part one. Uh, okay, so now we know if the points are on a line. Okay, and now we we map maybe vertical or age. So let's actually like we don't care about whether they're horizontal or vertical. actually here we're not gonna have yeah, VRH yeah we're just gonna do maybe line we're not gonna check if they're vertical or or whatever I want one equals y2 just L otherwise nothing that may be VRH and then we have LNS okay then we go uh, a space is equal to um, a list of lines and returns the like the space of points that we have like the largest point space okay uh, this is equal to so then we we're just finding like the biggest x and then the biggest y So do uh, two points, we do line to point, list of point. Points is equal to uh, of line P1, P2 is equal to P, P1, comma P2, 2, and then OK. And now we have a max X of of a list of points so let's just do 2 x chord point 2 inch x chord so these are so here we're actually paying the price for having it as a yeah but it's okay x chord is equal of uh, point X comma anything is equal to X. Y chord of point Y X comma anything comma Y equal to Y. We say this. Okay, uh, so the space, the space of a list of lines is space. Uh, of lines is equal to so we map two point uh so we concat map concat map two points over lines um uh, where points all points equal to this okay so whether we say a uh, maximum x chord this is going to be the point maximum x chord all points maximum y chord 
All points. Maximum map. Map. Okay, now let's uh, say here then. Uh, we are not gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Yeah. So let's just say uh, print space LNS main. Yeah, and this makes sense. So for the first one, it's a uh, nine nine. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Okay, let's uh So gen points. Uh, let's see. Haskell all combinations of a uh, of two lists. It's like a nice a. Uh... All right, I like this one. A. Uh... Okay, let's just use it. So all p's in points in space it's gonna take a point and it's gonna give us a list of points all points in space is equal to a uh, so we we get a point x comma y And we actually get a a comma b, where a, a comes from zero to x, b comes from zero to y. Point. Okay, now we have all points in space. This is extremely bad, right? But it's gonna be fine. So, um, okay, so now we check. So first we go, we check which points are on are on any line right and then we check uh. Uh, num lines on point we get a list of line and we get a list of point and we get an int num lines on lns is equal and then p is equal to the length of filter uh, on p on p uh, lns Okay, so then we can get like for each point find on how many points they are on okay so then we say let sp equals space of lns so aps equals all points in space sp so print aps right main Okay, we print. Oh my God, this is not all right. So because we print points like that. Okay, then we say uh, map print map num lines on LNS APS. And then we get like how many lines they're on and 
then we say filter uh, larger than two. And you uh, larger than equal to two. And we say length. And we get three. Uh, but aren't we supposed to be getting five? Uh, determine a number of points where at least two lines. Getting that there's only three points. Okay, let's check. Uh, Horrors. No, we don't have that anymore. Uh, okay. LNS. Let's do it let's do like this. LNS. Map maybe V or H. Read input. Example. Okay, and then we say uh, SP equals space LNS. We get 99, nine. we get all APS equals all points in space and APA, uh, SP and then APS is this um, map M print APS. So 99, nine. okay, so 90, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is zero to nine, one, nine. These are all the points. Okay, then we are, it's, it's our on function. That's a bit some, somehow wrong, I think. Let's see, LNS, we have one line, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five lines. One, two, three, four, five, six lines we're supposed to be getting, right? Oof, a long one today. Uh, I'm going to grab, um, yeah, I'm going to be, I'll be right back. Give me, give me two minutes. Sorry about that.
Sorry about that. The one you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay. Let me see, um, all points in space. Let's just try and print this out, right? And what's the space here? The space is going to be sp at point x comma y. Zero to nine, five to nine. Zero nine, five to nine, and we have uh, zero nine, two to nine, right? So we have these two. Okay, then we have nine to four, three to four, uh, so which is this one. No, yeah, that's this one, and then we have uh, two to. Two, 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 one, which is this one. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. How many lines are there? Six lines. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we, we have all the lines. So it's our on, that's a bit wrong. Okay, so if we have a horizontal line um, yeah so if you have a vertical line so this is a vertical line right and it is the right x-axis and the y1 is less than or equal to y2 right These are correct, right? Let's uh, num lines on. So let's not do this. So let's say let's print map. Um, uh, so it's gonna be p. Uh, then we're gonna say. Uh, uh, show p comma num lines on p main so zero zero is on zero line zero one is on zero line zero two okay and Let's just wrap map over the points, right? Okay, so let that's just yeah. Let's just do the literal print function. Okay, so p f um, we are gonna do like this. I think it's like we can do 4M. Oh. Yeah, so now it'd be good, nice to be able to just be able to do like to, you know, print X, Y, and then so we just want to print this map. 
Well, let's just see here. Nine zero. So nine. Oh, right. We are we're generating them in the opposite order. We want to show the see the last line last, right? Okay, so this is a zero 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 zero. So one 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 two two two. Okay, so those lines are correct. One 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 two two two. And then we should get a bunch of zeros, which we get until up until I think this is zero one two three four. Yeah, until it says four here. A zero zero. So nine four is zero. Okay, wait, so 9 is 4 is 0. What is 9, 5? 9, 5 is 0. Okay, so the 0th row is... 7, 0 is 1. Yeah, 7, 0 is 1. And then 8, 0, and 9, 0. Okay, that's the first row. 0, 0. Two one is uh, so wait, so one 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 is zero. Two one is zero. Three one is one. Four one. Four one is one. Okay. Print map. Okay, we have the list of line, and we do IO nothing. Okay, print map. Linus. Okay, this is gonna be print line uh, zero two nine. Okay, this is gonna be map and print line over zero to um, where sp equals space ls point x comma y. So we're gonna print line and this is gonna be used to zero to y. Okay. Uh, no, this is gonna be yeah. Let's call it. PL if now PL uh, nothing is equal to bootster new line. Okay, PL nothing is just return PL uh, Y Y's. So uh, this is going to be map M print point um map and and then zero to x right um where print point a print point uh, y zero x so print point y a uh, nothing is equal to put stir x slash n a print point y comma x is equal to um, put stir uh, show uh, num lines on uh, y uh, x axis put stir show num lines on uh, LNS uh, y comma x no x comma y right uh, num lines on point uh, put string and then print point uh, y axis. Uh, 
from the probability PL takes in a list of ints and returns IO nothing. And print point takes in an int and a list of ints and returns IO nothing. Oh yeah, okay, this one just has too many arguments. PX, PY, and this is a PY, and this is a PX. This is just Y actually. <laughs> like this it should be. Uh, but now it's complaining. Can't match expressive type. You know, okay, so the X here is going to be an. And the Y here is going to be an int. Okay, uh, so we get the lines. Okay, uh, that didn't work uh, because we didn't. Print the end of the lines. Okay, so we have, uh, so there's something wrong with our on. And hello equals num lines on LNS a point x comma y. And uh, out is equal to if nlo equals equals zero, then dot else uh, else uh, show nlo. Now on this one is going to be put string out. Okay, so there's something wrong with uh, some of our lines here. Um, all right, it's because they're not in the right order. Annoying. Okay. Uh, yes. So why one larger than equal to? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to change this actually case x1 equals equals x2 and x1 equals equals x is uh, y less than or equal to min y1 y2 and y large no less than or equal to max uh, so let's do min y1 y2 less than or equal to y y and okay this is the this is why we failed y y and then x x x x x x Oh, non-exhaustive patterns in function on. Otherwise, it's false.
Ok. So now we should be able to get... I don't have to print a map. Let's see. Print map. LNS. Okay, but now let's not print the map. Let's do a... Uh, we print. Length. Filter. Larger equal to 2. Over a... Map dollar yeah and it's all like this map num lines on LNS a and it should be EPS. Why you why does it do this? five exactly okay now we are getting the right for task one and we're doing it in a very dumb way but let's just hope it works for the input okay only 500 lines now main uh, let's change it to be Input and let's GHC 03 day five dot HS time day five. This might take a while. Okay, eight seconds, but uh, we got a number. Let's see. Okay, that's the right answer. So we're done with number one. But oof, we didn't do it in a smart way, right? Let's see, part two is as horrible. A factory considered all was give both because you also need to go diagonal lines because the limits of the mode lines in the list will only be horizontal vertical diagonal line at exactly 45 degrees. In other words, an entry like a uh, one covers point considering all the lines were the number as well you still need a number of points where at least two lines overlap okay uh, so now we just need to extend our on formula to cover diagonal lines um, let's change it back to a oh no And just to task one. Okay. Um, and um, num lines on. Uh, Let's uh, change this then to from map maybe V or H to just all the lines. And uh, this is going to be task two. And we don't change this much actually. What's it complaining about now? Right, okay. So num lines on. Ooh. Num, let's try and just do num lines on. Diag. Num lines on. Paste. Num lines on. Diag. Link filter on. Diag. P. Okay, so now we have a um, on diag so 
P1 L1 So that's uh, is equal to So it's either on a P1 L1 L2 or uh, P1 L L P so this is just P and L right Let's see here. Okay. Case on P L is equal to true. Okay, it's not on a horizontal line. Um, then we can check that. Um, okay, x1 equals equal x2. Then that's false, right? So if we if it's not on a horizontal line. Or it's uh, it's not yeah so it's, it's not on a horizontal line. Okay, so now we're checking if the point is on a diagonal. Okay, now do we check that? That was this is what we we were messing up before, right? Um, okay, I mean, it has to be within the box, right? So, uh, so case, uh, so min x1, x2 less than or equal to x, and min, uh, max x1 x2 and x less than or equal to max x1 x2 and we have min y1 y2 less than or equal to y and max y1 y2 and y less than okay so then it's within bounds of the box right and then we just have to check that it's on the line and then that, then we can use the formula right okay so this is this is equal to if okay and we know that y is why x is not equal to x2 Right, so we check that here. And then we can use this uh, point on a line thing, right? So we just need to check that um, that uh, right. Okay, so then. Uh, the line will be defined by these points, right? Uh, so then we can check that um, this is equal to x minus x1. So we check that is equal to y is equal to x minus x1 times um, y2 minus y1 divided by um, x2 minus x1 plus y1 
Let's check this for the example. I think we have the corporeal collector. Okay, we get the um, right, and it's because we didn't write num lines on diag. Exhaust the pattern in function diag on diag, yeah, okay. Otherwise, what's false? Okay, we get 12. I think this will work. It might be very slow, but it's gonna work. Let's say. Uh, Let's, uh, let's do it. <laughs> this might take quite a long time, but not like extremely long, right? It's gonna take like 15, 16 seconds and we're doing it in such a dumb way, right? We're like, we're not run, we're just generating all the points and then checking quality right 18 seconds for an answer 17 741 let's check if it's correct all right we did it took us two hours though and we're like we're not doing it in an optimal way right but i think like you know we accept everything as a solution if it's if it takes less than, you know, it, it, yeah, if it's less than a minute, right? You know, if it, if we can just run it and see what happens, then that's fine. Um, how could we, oh, thanks. So Bok J, so Bok J, so Bosh J, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So what essentially we did, right? Is we. We really hacked this. Um, so we can probably do it in a better way, right? We can probably like... Oh, sweet. Uh, so how long did it take you, Lila? How long does it take with just... Oh. Like if we don't don't do any optimizations, how long does it take? Yeah, because I think like the optimizations are important at least for us um, because we have all these points and line things, and I think like this will be you know this will be just uh, removed away like so these will just be the ints comma ints right it will it won't actually have this indirection uh all the time which is nice um yeah so i'm wondering like if we can do it Like if we can find those points which are on any lines, right? And then kind of just count for the rest. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is gonna take a while. So like I have the uh, benefit here that I am so this is running in the cloud. I mean, it's not like a crazy machine. It's like a four core. Yeah, just a basic cloud machine, but uh, it's better than everything freezing up on the stream. Uh, and it's nice, right? Because I can just access it from this computer or from uh, a laptop. And yeah, okay, this takes a while. Okay, two minutes though with no optimizations or like 
uh, so I think the default flag is like 02. That's uh, but uh, yeah, and that's, and that's like I think that's the trick with Haskell is that you know it really the optimizations can really they can really do a lot like they really kick in. But this is like without any optimizations, and then a run it again with optimizations and it's like 20 seconds which is uh what six times faster and like you, you can see that like you know compiling and running it with the optimizations takes a lot shorter time than just yeah so like the optimizations the time taking to optimize is clearly worth it do, 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 do. This all points in space. You can probably speed it up a bit by... <laughs> Let's do this, right? Right now, these are like minute optimizations. So if it's a vertical or horizontal line, we do that. Otherwise, we can use the formula. Actually, we can just always use the formula. Let's so M mix. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we could like just compute. So we, I mean, we're computing the numbers twice here, but I, I, I don't think that's the, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's important. So what would be a nice way to do this? I mean, so we could like just focus on the lines, all right, and just find like intersections of at least two lines. And I think we could do that, right? So we could, uh, we could take the program and we could like find the intersections of the lines and use that to generate the set of points that we check. Right, because now we are checking very a lot, like a thousand times a thousand, well, like a million points, right? I mean, and we do it in 20 seconds, so I, I don't think we like need it. But, um, yeah, I'm just thinking how we can, is there like a way we can easily speed this up? Do, 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 do. See, do we use this two points? Yeah, we use it for the space, right? Too much of a brainlet. What does that mean? And how would that mean that you uh, don't understand Haskell? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We take all the lines and we generate the set of points on the lines. Right? Um, so for each line, we generate all the points on that line and then we check and then we can like make a set of points and then we check Yeah, I don't know. I think I think we like our way of just it's very fast, right? And like yeah, we have like 
like a degenerate case right you have like lines covering the entire space then uh, generating all the points on every line would be a lot more I mean, I say I think we would need to like generate the pairs of lines. And then, you know, use all these uh, do two lines intersect formulas. Which we could uh, do very fast, right? And I just filter out the points that are um, on more. Yeah. All right. I think, uh, but I think we've been going on long enough today. Um. Yeah. So what I'm saying is. There's definitely a way to do this without generating all the points, right? Um, but it would be very tricky to get all the line intersection equations correct. And I am not sure that we would learn anything. I did that, then I use a map point int to count how often each coordinate is occupied by a line. What, what, what do you mean by that, Timmy? How do they... You generated all the line intersection equations. My question to Timmy is like, how long did it take? Like, was it a lot faster? Um, or is this like a reasonable time? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That like, like I said, that that works. But uh, if you have like a degenerate case where, yeah, okay. But that's in Haskell, two fifty milliseconds. That, my worry is that yeah it works in, in a, kind of probably the usual case but if you have a like a degenerate case like where all the lines kind of cover the space then um, then this will be a lot more points to check I'm wondering if we can maybe just filter out the ones that, uh... So let's see, any... So all points in space, okay. And then what I want to check now is we, let's say... on any is equal to uh, filter let's 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 do that right uh, let's see on any on any okay so we don't do the length here we do uh, on any empty set is equal to false let's take the point in first maybe we can like drastically reduce the amount of checks we do like this if, if we're lucky 
uh, on any any p I'm any uh, empty is equal to false on any a p l l and s is equal to um if on diag p l uh, then true oh, let's just check to like this on diag p l is equal to true uh, otherwise is equal to on any p l n s Okay, so these are so we're gonna filter out the points that are on any line. Okay, but let's actually because we want to give it we want to feed it that way. Point. Okay. P. Otherwise on any LNSP. Okay, uh, now we don't we say instead of saying all points in space, we filter those out, right? So we say points on any is equal to filter on any lns uh, eps and then we say points on any Then we kind of check that uh, we only check those points that are on any line. And the, the dream is that like if it's... Okay, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really help. because we're iterating over the points twice print the map but like it's it's at least a thousand characters so it's not gonna it's not gonna help a lot i think Ooh, do, 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 do. about 250 milliseconds yeah i guess that's because there's a lot fewer lines than there are points of points
Yeah, exactly. Um, but like we can see in the input, right? That I mean, there's going to be a million points. Um, but so let's see. Yeah, so if we print the space, right? What? So I think there's like a, yeah, so let's just see what this is. Yeah, so it's like a million points, right? Yeah, and they only have 500 lines. So like we could optimize this for the input that we get, right? But uh, it really depends on, so like this, yeah, it really depends on if it's... Uh, Okay, um, let's, let's check one thing, right? Uh, let's see, um, LNS, okay, so we say, uh, H or V is equal to a partition, um, is just uh, v or or h um otherness and this needs to be imported and then this parish and parted t on data dot list oh my god where is it? Oh, it's right at the top. Partition takes in. Okay, so uh, the horizontal or vertical ones. Hey, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with Layla here is that there is. And so let's print space, print length H or V. And I think there's a lot of horizontal and vertical lines. Oh. Really? Well, partition should give us right. H or V, diag. Okay, so there are 349. Um, so print space, print length HRV, and print length diag. And there are uh, 49. So there are a lot. There are a lot more horizontal. I think they may probably like a an even amount. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's do the, let's do it. Give this back into either line line x one equals just uh, so these are the horse vertical ones left L y is equal to this right L now I need to map maybe and I need to map either it it And then we can say length. So we say horiz is equal to left h or v. Uh, vertices is equal to right h or v. No, there was a this was a left h or v, and these were the rights, right? So H or V here is 
What's going on here? Uh, maybe either... Yes. All right. Okay, so we we can partition. So let's um. Okay, we just partition them first, and then we say a H and V lines is equal to map. Maybe a V or H L N S, and then this is H and V lines, and this is. H and V lines. Length uh, verties. Length horizontal. So yeah, okay. So we have uh, verticals, horizontals, and um, diagonal lines okay so and then we so we that doesn't take a long time right to figure out which ones are which okay um Okay, so what are we checking now? So let's now we generate the points on each of these. So quarries H points to the line and it's gonna give me a list of points. So horizontal points is gonna be is gonna be a line and the Y coordinate is the same. So L1 X comma L1 Y and uh, L1 X1 L1 uh, L X2 Okay, so it's just me X1 and Y and X2 and the same Let's just call it L points, right? L points l points okay line y1 x2 y2 here we go okay so if a uh, y1 is equal to y2 this is the horizontal case then we find a uh, where mix a uh, so small x uh, is equal to min x1, x2, vx is equal to max x1, x2, sy is equal to min y1, y2, and by is equal to max y1, y2. So if it's this is the one, then we are going to generate map, and we're going to map. Point dot um, okay, we're gonna take the x coordinate and we're gonna give you x comma y and we're gonna map this function over the list sx to bx add tuple sections okay we just add tuple sections but it doesn't actually yeah okay we can write this as this all the points all right and then this is gonna be point okay so we have the ver horizontal this is the horizontal case 
uh, y1 case x1 equals x2 is equal to map uh, so this is going to be x, x1 is equal to x2 and we're going to say x1 comma over sy2 by Okay, otherwise, um, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be, uh, okay, so otherwise we have a, a diagonal case. What is the set of numbers for the diagonal case? So we just like add one, right? To like both coordinates until they hit, right? Because they're, yeah, so it says that they're all exactly 45 degrees, right? So we can use that fact. Uh, let's go back to day four. They're all exactly, so that they're all going to be like X. Uh, so like the, so but like, yeah. So in which, which direction are we going, right? And then it's either going to be like plus one, minus one. Okay, so let's figure that out, right? E Okay, so, um, so if, uh, so we're going to define the change here. So this is going to be diag points of uh, the line let's just write that like that or do we no okay otherwise okay so let's figure out the change so the cxcy is equal to so the change in x cx is going to be if x1 is less than or equal to is it less than x2 then then we're going to be, we're increasing the x1 then one else minus one okay cy equals if y1 less than y2 then we're going to be growing it then one else minus one Okay, then uh, the points on the diagonal are going to be um, so then diag points is going to be diag points. So let's actually let's sort them. We, we we normalize on the x. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that make sure that it's increasing. Um, how do we normalize on the x? Um, we had that before, right? That's why we didn't erase it. Let's say here, uh, we normalize on the X. Um, 
Yeah, and I think we can just actually do this right away, right? Um, be right. I, yeah, we should do this because yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. To read input, we normalize on the X. We just need to pick one to normalize. I realize this now. Uh, uh, norm X. Right. Okay. Now we have them, them normalized on the X. So X1 is going to be less than X2. Um, okay. So X1 is going to be less than X2. So then CY is equal to... Um, If y1 is less than y2, then 1 else minus 1. Okay, so now we have the uh, x diag is equal to uh, x1 to x2. Right. And the y diag is... Uh, the x diag is going to be x1 to x2 and the y diag is going to be um, y1 let's see I can't do that right I can't do 5 to 2 right 3 no yeah exactly but then I can do three to five and reverse it right so if so uh if y1 is less than y2 then y1 y2 else reverse y2 to y1 So this is going to be the y diag and then uh, the points there's going to be is otherwise equals sip x diag so we're going to map point over a uh, sip x diag y diag sip with curry point Will this work, I wonder? So this will generate a lot of points. Now, then we change uh, this APS here. And we're not actually gonna, we're just gonna, we don't care about what they are anymore. We are going to say uh, APS. So, okay, we don't, so we're actually gonna So we generate all the points, okay? And then we just count the points that we, yeah. <laughs> we just can't, we just check. Yeah, we check if there are any duplicates, right? Um... So we can derive ord on the points, right? D D D D, D deriving ord EQ ord. Okay, uh, norm x is not in scope. Did we 
not put it in. Okay, uh, now we don't have the APS anymore, uh, but we don't actually care. We're gonna we take the LNS, okay, and then we so then we say um, let APS equals sort a dollar concat map l points lns this will be a list of points and then we do group right import data dot list Which will group them. Let me do group. And we then and then we do uh, link. filter larger than or equal to two dot length so how many of the groups are longer than Okay, concat map. In the second group of Okay. Let GPS, because well, that's the groups. GPS is a list of just the points. Okay, and then we length filter uh, g uh, length length g is to be level two. Yes, let's check this for example this is that we're actually getting something sensible here we get 12 happens really fast now let's see wow three now we're back to two mid time all right we got it down to 360 milliseconds on this machine. So, right. So there's essentially two ways to do it. Um, we either generate our, all the points. And... Uh, just check for... To, to, uh, we generate all possible points and then we check on how many lines those points are. Or we um, 
Or we do something like this, right? So I think this still works. This was a dollar. All points in space, dollar, space, LNS. So 350 MS, 20 seconds. So this way it takes uh, 350 milliseconds. 233 let's just say that it looks good otherwise <laughs> the other version takes 20 seconds approximately so yeah but uh, this really depends on the amount of the amount of lines Okay, it takes 13 seconds now, but yeah, okay. Okay, but it, uh, as we discussed, right, if you have a really dense um, if the lines are really dense, right, if they have, if they kind of cover the space, then like the other one will be worse. Um, but because they don't cover the space, we have a lot fewer points. Um, so let's even say here. Points on lines equals this. And then we say a points on lines. And let's print dollar length points on lines right so then we have a hundred and eighty three thousand four hundred thirty two otherwise we have like a nine hundred and eighty thousand points generated and then we have to check so every line whether it's on the line but here we just have to we sort the points and then we check how many are equal, right? Or how many have how many, yeah. And like we can we can find out the by the length of the groups. So we can actually just say map length and then filter larger than equal to two here um, and i think that will uh, oh no now we're doing both but i think it's also important to note that like uh, this old version like we can actually print the map Okay, I guess we can print the map with anyone as well. But it's uh, it's not as trivial, kind of. All right. Uh, we did it three hours. We did two ways. The slow way and the good way. Thanks to Tumi for inspiring us to do our best. All right. Uh, that's enough for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at let's say same time so 1900 hours in Sweden that's uh, 1800 in UTC and then uh, you will have to calculate yourself when it is I think it's like 10 o'clock in California something like that um but yeah and we'll see how we do it how we do the next one let me actually git status git commit git yeah let's add it git add day 5hs and input an example and then git status git commit um 
55. Geek push. All right, the code is up on GitHub. You can see the link right here. And, and then you can compare the two. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. And uh, yeah, so I'm at Tritlow on Twitter. And that's usually where I announce that I'm going live. Uh, and it's also where I announce like, you know, if I'm not going live, right? If I'm like, hey, something came up. I really need to do it later today, whatever. So, you know, if you come here and I'm not here, check the Twitter, uh, probably be an explanation. All right. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. And like, yeah. And if you follow me on Twitch, um, you'll get a notification when I go now live. So then you don't need to check anything. You can just wait for the notification and tune in. Uh, and lastly, um, these videos are also on YouTube. So like, uh, yeah, but they come out 24 hours after the stream because uh, Twitch has like a, like you can't stream it anywhere else. And, or, or host it anywhere else for 24 hours, so, yeah. But uh, you can check out the playlist there, and uh, I think day three and four, I have to, like, edit it slightly, and then it'll be available there. Uh, so probably, yeah, in the morning, and then this one will be available even sooner, I think. It should be available, yeah, in 24 hours. All right, thanks again for tuning in, and uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.